Is Angel fighting? Well, you know, he actually, he did fight professionally. Yeah. So guys, before the uh, event started this evening, I was back in the dressing room and Cody walked in and we were talking about this matchup and the difference in styles. And How, height. Yeah, well, <laughs> that, like actually that's what, that's what he said. But you know, Yafte is a, uh, is a heck of a um, kickboxer. He fights in TCB for us also. All right. Does a great job there. So. It's going to be interesting to see if Cody can neutralize those kicks and try to get inside and, and, and get a takedown. That's what he's good at. I mean, th this is no joke right now as Yafti stands tall, and if Cody drops down. Big shot landed there. Oh. I mean, it stung him. It caught him right. Oh, he's going down. Good knee. That, was that good knee, knee hurt. Now it's the height doesn't matter here. But he does have to be careful about those long limbs. What Yofty wants to do is he wants to walk his legs up so he can start isolating arms, and you're seeing that right here. What he needs to do, though, he needs to clear a shoulder, and what, which side he's going to pick is up to him, but he needs to create a little bit of space and then capitalize on it. Right now, Cody's doing a good job of staying tight, and that's preventing that from happening. And Cody's got his forearm right on his throat. Exactly. It's a very good move. It, does, it, it essentially creates the space you need. Great job by Yofty getting a chance to take a breather here and, yeah. and get his wits about him. Yeah, he's doing a good job of covering, but a lot of flexibility, and this is a tough spot for, for Cody. He's got to be really careful here, because all it takes is one slip up, and that arm's clear. Good slam. Good Cody. slam, but it didn't matter. Yeah. Nothing happened out of it. No, Cody's, Cody's a strong kid. You know, one thing that, that could have happened there, instead of slamming him, had he just dropped him, he would have actually been able to get out of this position, and then he could re-engage on his own terms. With that leg up over your neck, and having him be able to hold it, ooh, right there, he almost had it. Cody did a good job of slipping out. You have to be careful because that's an instant setup. That was a beautiful escape by him. It was a beautiful hey, escape. As soon as yeah. he felt that pressure release, he popped out. He's going again for these slams, but it's, he's not really able, you know, the height difference is actually preventing him from getting the leverage he needs. Uh-oh. There's an arm bar. Does he got uh, it? No, he let go. He lost it. He, he had the extension, he just didn't oh, have the Oh, this, he got this locked in. Oh, now Cody actually had the leg, the leg trap. He oh, got it, he got wow. it. Wow. It's over. Wow. Wow. What a transition. Wow. He stepped over that arm. Wow. He locked. 15 seconds into the first round for your winner by tap out to the rear naked choke. Out of the blue corner, Cody Matthews. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Bantamweight, 135. Cody Matthews improves his record to 3-0 and 19 years of age. When we come back, more fights to come here at Cagezilla 49.